Hello guys, welcome to JD Bots. This is a tutorial series where we'll see how to connect your Azure bot to SharePoint using the direct line channel. This is the second video. In the first video, we had seen the one of the approach how to enable the custom scripts in SharePoint. In that video, we had gone to the SharePoint Admin Center where in the down below we had enabled the allow users to run custom scripts. So this we have already seen in our last video. Okay. Now continuation of this sometimes even after allowing the users to run the custom script from this setting portal the custom script doesn't get added automatically. For example, I have enabled just now the custom scripts. When I go to my SharePoint site and create any web page or any other page, when I add a new web part and when I click on media and content, I see only four options. The custom script option is not available as of now. Now in this video we'll see another approach which will instantly enable the custom scripts for me that with using the PowerShell. For the prerequisites we need to download the SharePoint online management shell. So let us download and install it. This links I'll be providing in the description. Okay, we have downloaded and as well as installed. So let us launch our PowerShell SharePoint Online Management Shell. So in the beginning, it is asking me, do you want to run software from this untrusted publisher? Okay, let us give as always run. Yeah, we are good to go. Now, I have written some of the PowerShell commands from the Microsoft documentation. So, we'll go step by step. If you don't want to install the management shell using the installer, then you can make use of this command as well. You just have to launch your PowerShell and install the Microsoft Online SharePoint PowerShell using this command. Okay. Now let us see whether we have successfully installed by running this command. I'll copy this and paste it over here. Now, as you can see, the version it is showing me as 16.0 and it has perfectly installed now we can move forward in order to change this setting like for enabling the custom scripts you need to be a SharePoint admin or you need to be a global admin otherwise you won't be able to do it now in this step will be connecting to the SharePoint site. So this four command will be used for connecting to your SharePoint site. If you have enabled the multi-factor authentication for your account, then you need to use this command. So this user credential will not be required and you need not pass the user credential variable while connecting to the SharePoint service. So for me, I have enabled the multi-factor authentication, so I'll be using these commands. But for the starting, I'll use this one. I'll need to provide the email address. So let me provide the email address. enter now this email address 
will be going to the admin upn variable the next one i need to provide the organization name the organization name is your domain name if you go to your sharepoint site you can see your organization name so this will be your organization name okay i'll copy and paste the next i'll directly connect to the sharepoint site now because i have enabled the multi factor authentication i am seeing this window otherwise you will see a pop up window where you will need to provide your password here the next step would be to enter your password and that password will be used to authenticate with your sharepoint service okay for multi factor authentication i am just providing my credentials now we have successfully connected to the sharepoint service now we'll use this command to enable the custom scripts the site url you need to provide and i'll provide the site url which in my case it is jd november 2020 and till here jd bots 2 okay in the first case i think i have used the extra slash and when i remove the slash now it is working fine now let us go to the sharepoint site where we will be adding a web part page and let's see whether it has successfully enabled let me refresh this page and when i try to add a web part see earlier we did not see this many options i think some of the options have come up newly when i click on media and content you see the content editor the new this one is a new option it has come and we have the script editor and we have the silver light web part this three parts I have newly added in this one okay no we have seen both the approaches so whichever suits you best you can make use of and to enable this custom scripts in the next video we will see how to create a web part and that web part will be our chatbot